Welcome to the Fresh Perspectives podcast. This season is focused on the key insights from the Career Pathways research, which was led by the ACE Emerging Professional. And we'll be discussing key influences, organisational barriers and interesting career transitions the speakers have faced in their careers. I'm Tom Worthington, the Regional Lead for the Northern ACE Emerging Professionals and a Sustainability and Carbon Consultant for Atkins. I'm with Dr Lara Potter, the Director at Arcadis and Chair of the Future Skills Group at the ACE. And we'll be discussing the topic of Career Pathways. Lara, thank you for joining today. Can you please explain to our listeners a little bit about the Career Pathways Project? Thank you so much, Tom, and thank you for that lovely introduction. It's really fantastic to be talking about the Career Pathways Project with you today. I guess the traditional professional career pathways in the built environment are pretty well known. You know, we have civil engineers and project managers and town planners and architects and many others. And all of those careers are really well established with professional bodies providing accreditation and within those professions of course we already know that there's significant diversity in terms of expertise and application. We also have a hypothesis that something else is happening um, in the built environment and that there are already quite a large number of people enjoying careers which actually don't take a traditional route and in some cases might be actually quite unexpected. So we wanted to explore this and highlight three themes that might be relevant to today's exciting careers um, in the built environment. So the first of those three themes is diversity. I mean the variety of what people do in the built environment. And we, what we wanted to do is showcase varied career tra trajectories to demonstrate um, to our audience a diverse range of career opportunities in consulting and engineering and we also wanted to highlight the, highlight the breadth of knowledge and capabilities of a sample group of professionals which represent many parts of the industry um, and the differing ways in which um, those um, careers were developed. So that's the first thing is, is the diversity of careers. That's the sort of what people do. The second piece that we wanted to unpick was how people's careers develop. So what the key influences were, the twists and the turns that professionals in the built environment experience. We wanted to demonstrate, if possible, that career pathways in the sector are not always linear and can travel in quite unexpected ways across disciplines and industries and can be driven by both individual and organisational influences. We just wanted to investigate the experiences of people working in the built environment to just help a, help build a picture of those wider opportunities that are available and perhaps some of those characteristics of what I like to call squiggly career pathways. And then the third thing was perhaps the thing that we talk about most, which is the capabilities that might be required um, to be able to realise some of those opportunities. And they're the sorts of capabilities actually possibly beyond the technical expertise, which we often talk about, and those things that people might need to develop um, these slightly more squiggly careers. So raising awareness of how those things happen. It's, I mean, it's very interesting and it ties in quite nicely with a, a session I did recently with Kat Brown looking at transitioning from engineering, which which both of us had done into kind of more sustainability like roles so very relevant what you're saying and so my next question was how this relates or, or fits into the other themes of sustainability and digital that the ACE is driving well I love this question Tom and you're a sustainability professional now so there you go you, <laughs> you you're showcasing exactly what we're talking about here and we know you know there's a small library of reports and publications which help us understand um, the changes that are happening um, in the sector that we all work in right now in the built environment sector and we also know that um, this sector has been identified as one of the hard to decarbonize sectors um, and there's a, there are good reasons for that. You know, assets are planned over really long periods of time and therefore innovation is pretty slow in this sector. The cool thing here is that like other sectors as well, uh, many professionals in the built environment are ahead of the slow pace of legislative change and are already making steps to evolve the way we work so that every project that we do is delivered um, with a renewed focus on improving social and environmental outcomes and are really contributing to the transition to a low carbon economy. We all know that that's what we need to do and the construction built environment sector is extremely well placed um, to be able to support our ambitions on that. And from a skills perspective, we know um, as well that to do that, many professionals are adding skill sets to their existing knowledge and expertise, they are already learning how to operate 
in a more innovative environment, building capability around collaboration, bringing in new expertise and new ideas on the use of technology and data. And they're seeking opportunities to be able to build their um, expertise in and, and, and those skills into complex problem solving and critical thinking and, of course, collaboration, as I've mentioned. Critically, when you come to talk about the consulting sector, clients are pulling hard on these capabilities now and there are increasing demands to be able to measure, deliver, improve social and environmental impact. And in fact, many clients are now e even starting to measure um, around innovation and impact around um, new ideas. So I think you can see there that what's happening around the skills agenda is absolutely linked to what's happening in terms of what our sector is being asked to deliver, particularly around um, the theme around sustainability in all its guises and use the use of digital technology and data, of course, to be able to help us innovate in those spaces to improved outcomes. Absolutely. That's one of the things that excites me most about this space is because it's an emerging market. There's all of these new skills that we've got to get to grips with to, to deliver the, the targets we all need. So my last question is hopefully bringing those two together a little bit, which is how could our listeners take inspiration from the Career Pathways project and use that in their own career? We have learned a lot through this Career Pathways project, and I'm really looking forward to uh, releasing that information later in this year. I think we've probably got, I like three, and I think we've got three themes which really come through all of the conversation that's that we've had with people who have had those exciting and diverse careers that we're talking about. So the first thing is all about taking ownership of your own career. Now, in our sector, we're very used to fairly linear career pathways and quite well governed actually by professional institutions through training programmes. And that's all still very relevant. However, I think there's something that's going on beyond those linear training programmes and, and actually even recognising that there are different ways in terms of developing skills um, is absolutely critical. So the first thing is really taking ownership of your own career, making sure that your career is aligning to your own personal values. And when there's tension there, actually trying to sort of understand that and unpick what's going on and perhaps exploring ways in which you can align better to the values that you hold uh, most most dearly. And then the, the other piece of um, advice around taking ownership is um, keeping a really open mind and being flexible to ideas. And I think this is really important in our sector. And I hear people sort of saying, well, you know, I've trained as a engineer or I've trained as a town planner and therefore that's maybe not what I need to be doing. And and I would really say that there is what one of the other themes that has come out is that, you know, there's much more crossover now between these uh, career pathways and possibly there are opportunities that maybe weren't available five or even ten years ago. So the first thing, take ownership. The second thing, really critical um, piece of advice, is finding your support. You can't do this on your own and some organisations are brilliant, they offer support, but some don't or it, perhaps the support doesn't come in the way that you need it at the time. So you can't sort of count on that. So I think actively finding mentors is really critical in being able to find opportunities aligned to your purpose. And it's not just about finding the mentors, it's also learning how to be a good mentee. So knowing how to get the best out of your mentoring relationships is really, really critical. And there's some really, really great stuff out there about how those sorts of relationships can be, you know, how to build those relationships. And then the third uh, point, which I think is absolutely critical in this is never stop learning so you know you will continue to be learning I think all the way through your career there has been a tradition where most of the learning happens in the early stages of your career and there's this really big focus of course through your professional accreditations however the thing that's changing right now is that um, the tools, the technologies, the way that we're working are changing rapidly. So that means that we also have to be learning. So learning happens every day. Recognise when it is happening and actually when your skill sets are changing. That's really, really um, important. And as part of that, invest in yourself. So make sure that you are clear about where you're wanting to build your skills and connect those to the opportunities that are around there. They're the three things. Take ownership, find your support and never stop learning.